Hello, I'm Dean Wilson and welcome to the world of cruising. I'm really excited because we're going to be celebrating the wonderful world of cruise and travel to help match you with your perfect holiday, along with some fantastic offers. Today, I'll be finding out more about Hurtigruen, a well-known and much-loved Norwegian brand with a 130-year history of sailing the Norwegian coast, which they consider their home. We'll be showcasing Hurtigruen's Svalbard line and it's the itinerary that we're going to be looking at today. I'll also be joined by some fabulous guests who will be sharing their expert advice so as to help you make the most of your first or your next cruise. And don't forget, we also have a fantastic competition with a prize I know you'll love. More details of that later. And Michelin star chef Mark Fosch will be whipping up a tasty treat in the kitchen. So let's meet our guests. And joining me today is journalist Kay Holland from our sister magazine and website World of Cruising and Lisa Minow from The Sun. Welcome. It's lovely to have Hello. you here. Good to see to you. To talk again, about, too. I think, um, one of the crews, if you asked a general person in the street to talk about crews, they would instantly think of Norwegian crews, fjords. It seems to pop into their mind when you think of cruising. That's right. It's one of those bucket list itineraries. And with Sertagruen here, you're, what you're getting is that incredible journey up into the Arctic Circle in search perhaps of the Northern Lights. But we're talking about fabulous wildlife and the likes of whales, dolphins, walruses. Yes. And yes. then we've got glaciers, we've got waterfalls and we've got huge mountain scenery. So it really is one of those real bucket list destinations. Yes. OK, this is a real experience because we've got smaller ships. Yeah. And like you said, with all those wonderful things that are on a lot of people's bucket lists, aren't they? Absolutely. And I, I I think really with Hurti Gruen, the, the focus is more on adventure yeah. and exploration. So it's not really about the Broadway style shows and sort of all the bells and whistles on board. It's about getting into the heart of those destinations and they do it brilliantly. And they do. Destination wise, we're going to talk about the itinerary in just a few moments time. I think it's, it's true, isn't it? You'll again absolutely visit places that you probably would never have thought of because you hadn't heard of them. Nor when you think of the capitals, we know Oslo's, but we, yeah. we don't really think about a lot of the names so, we're about to mention. You no, know, you go really far up to the top of Norway, um, yeah, into some off the beaten track places yeah. that really you probably couldn't visit if you didn't do it by cruise. 100%, and the culture is what it's all about. We have so much to discuss, but before we get started, let's hear from James Howlett, Hurtigruen's head of sales, who is going to tell us what makes the line so unique. So welcome to James. Thanks for joining us, James. Thanks very much, Dean. Thanks for having me. Fabulous company. Absolutely unique in what they do. Am I right? You're absolutely right. It's something we've done for 130 years. We've tried to develop this itinerary over the last 130 years, but it started out visiting these incredibly isolated towns and villages and being a lifeline to them, really dropping off goods and services, affectionately known as the postal route for many, many years. And it's just developed and evolved into what many people call one of the most beautiful voyages in the world today. Now, the thing is, wonderful culture in that part of the world. And that's quite important, isn't it? incredibly important to us so again it goes back to the lifeblood of what we do but not just the lifeblood of visiting these incredible places and connecting these isolated communities but rolling that into the food that we have most of the food that we have on board is from the areas that we're visiting we try and invest in these local farmers and suppliers and actually give people a real authentic taste of Norway which is exactly what you want when you're going away to explore a new continent or a new country. Itinerary-wise, what sort of things can we expect? We spoke about them in the studio a little bit. Give us some of your highlights. So we've got the original coastal route, something we've done, like I said, for 130 years. But the really uh, exciting part of what we do is one of our newer itineraries, which is a Svalbard line. And that's something that we used to do, interestingly, back in the 60s through to the early 80s. And it sails along the Norwegian coast and then goes to the really isolated archipelago of Svalbard. Um, and we try to go there and give people a real immersive and authentic experience in that isolated area. And that's the thing, you're going to experience things you really won't experience anywhere else on these kind of cruises, but you're going to do it on a lovely, comfortable ship. You are right, yes. We, um, MS Trollfjord is, is, was refurbished, I think, back in 2022, so that she's ready to give this elevated version of what we do along the coast. So complete emphasis on food, on gastronomy, on the restaurants, but really harking through to one of the, the highlights of what we have as a business, which is cuddling, which refers to comfort, and it's trying to have a home away from home for people whilst they're on board. So if you want to stay on board, there's plenty to do. You don't have to leave the ship. You can do that as well. 
There really is, yeah. So there's lots of things to do. I mean, there's a gym on board. I'm not sure who still goes to the gym whilst they're on a cruise ship, but there is a gym available. Um, there's incredible dining venues on board. There's lots and lots of itineraries to do. Um, incredible talks and, and lectures, etc. whilst you're on board. Photography classes and that sort of thing as well. Fantastic. Well, James, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. And for everyone at home, if you want to discover the Norwegian fjords, you know where to go. Thanks, Dean. Thanks, James. OK, let's introduce you to Hedegrund's Svalbard Lines itinerary. I'll tell you where you'll be visiting and then we'll delve into further into that experience and excursions and what's available. So the Svalbard Line itinerary is an epic voyage deep into the Arctic Circle, as James was saying, and the land of the midnight sun. It's a 15 day sailing, but right now we'll focus on the first half of the itinerary. Here's how it looks. On day one, we're going to Bergen. Oh, can I just before I start this, actually, I've got to apologise to the Norwegian people because <laughs> I'm going to do my best uh, with all of these and no one's going to help me. Uh, so, uh, first day is Bergen, and then we've got Andalusness in uh, day two. We've got Triana, day three. On day four, you'll be visiting Turin. On day five, Tromsø will be where you were going to. And in day six, Honesvaj is where you'll be going. On day seven, we're going to stay at sea and have some of that lovely hospitality we were talking about. Uh, and, of course, day eight, uh, Longyearbyen is where we'll be heading. We'll look at the second half of that itinerary a little bit later on. And the Svalbard line offers new ways to experience Norway. We can really take your time to discover new places on the Norwegian coast. Now, if you're time poor, don't panic. Hurtigrun also offer shorter 10 and 11 day options as well. Full details together with all the terms and conditions can be found at theworldofcruising.tv forward slash Hurtigrun. That's a jam packed cruise. Kate and Lisa, top, I mean, well, great we're... job on the pronunciation, firstly. <laughs> you can all, you can <laughs> applaud can if applaud. you like. They're doing it in the, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jack. Uh, but I'm not doing it again. Uh, so, <laughs> anything that stands out for you there? I mean, from a journalistic yeah, point of view. I think view. there's a couple that really grabbed me. I mean, the first day one is a real highlight, Bergen. Bergen. Um, most gorgeous, gorgeous setting. It's sort of framed between the mountains and the fjords. Um, and then later on in that itinerary, Tromso. Tromso, yes. It's the northernmost part of Norway. And Lisa was saying, even even at sea, uh, at that part of the world, we've talk, you know, talked about mm. in the past about cruises in the Caribbean, you're still having a wonder of experience while you're at sea as well. Well, that's it, yes. I mean, because what you get with these Norwegian fjord itineraries is not just that sort of coastal voyage where you've got the sort of, you know, the horizon with you. You're immersed right in the centre of it. So you're travelling up these fjords. So day and night, you've got this fabulous sea scenery all around you, the towering mountains, fabulous sparkling fjords, yeah. um, there's something for everybody. And then as you head up into the, the Arctic Circle, obviously, you know, the tundra changes, it becomes slightly more rugged and wild looking up there. But as you head over into the Svalbard Archipelago, then of course you've got, mm. you know, there's fun, fascinating sort of yeah. glacier scenery. Um, so there's so much in yeah. this itinerary. And, yeah. and bring, you bring your layers and binoculars and, you, and you station yourself on deck. You read Absolutely. my mind, yeah. exactly what I was about to yeah. say, bring binoculars, because they're going to be breathtaking moments, yeah. aren't they? They are going to be those waking up to a waterfall or a polar glacier or something, and or even a polar bear. You yep. just don't know, don't know. There's more of them, the people you know. <laughs> uh, now then, I know what you're thinking. I want to go, uh, but I want to know what's included and how much it is. Well, all those uh, details that uh, you need to know are coming up after this. OK, if you would like to travel the Norwegian coast and visit the Arctic Circle and the Hurtigruns Svalbard line itinerary, here's the lowdown on what is included in the price. Accommodation in a comfortable cabin with an ensuite bathroom. You also get full ball with all day dining in the Flora and Aran restaurants. Unlimited select beer, wine and spirits at Flora, Aran and the 1893 bar. That sounds really, really intriguing, doesn't it? Served during restaurant and bar opening hours. Complimentary Wi-Fi, of course, and sailing aboard MS Trollford's flagship of the Svalbard Line. The Coastal Experience Team guide guests in all the voyage ex activities and excursions, I can't even say it, while sharing insights into the Norwegian culture. Uh, and if this cruise is for you, you can book right now by calling 
calling 0808 271 4286 and speaking to one of the knowledgeable team at Hertie Gruden. So for everything you need to know, uh, plus the terms and conditions, please visit worldofcruising.tv forward slash Hertie Gruden. And if this Svalbard line isn't for you, don't worry, we'll find plenty more cruises and offers on the website too. Right, I think I'm ready to try some of that Hurtigrun's famous dishes. I think Kay and Lisa have beat me to it. They're over there in the kitchen with Mark. Let's have a look. So as we head towards that kitchen, what have we got for you? We've got a bit of a sizzle going on here, ladies. Oh, what do we have? How are we doing? Hello, Mark. Nice to Good see you. Yeah. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce a uh, Michelin star chef and expert sommelier, Mark Fosch. Mark, um, we've gone all Norwegian, we've gone up the coast. We are, what exactly. have we got food wise? So the thing about Scandinavian food is all about ingredients. No? So we've got this yes. wonderful piece of salmon, which I've just pan fried, added a little butter, and glazed it. And we're going to serve it with something very traditional, which is a grain mustard, white wine, and dill sauce. Ooh. So we've got those traditional flavours as well from the Scandinavian. You're going to see a lot of fish dishes in that yep. part of the world, Lisa, aren't you? It's the sort of the place I'd expect to see a lot of this. Of course, a lot of fish, but then actually a you know, huge focus on fruit and vegetables as well, um, herbs. Um, you know, foraging is really part of their whole, you know, whole That's culture. Very so, true, yes. Um, you're going to see a lot of reference on that as well, I would say. And because of the history, the 130-year history, they try to keep hold of that, don't they? That, that traditional culture, yeah. the foraging. Stay true to it, absolutely. Stay true to it, the ingredients. Mm. So when you're uh, sort of stopping at these ports and, the, and you're debarking, you've, sort of got, you've got that knowledge to know you're experiencing something mm. really local. Oh, what's that, Chef? This is a pickled cucumber dressing. So, I mean, in Scandinavia as well, it's all about the simplicity, isn't it? And I think these flavours work perfectly together with the salmon and they add a lot of freshness to this dish. Yes, we've got a lovely rich mustard and white and it's wine sauce. And then so that elegant as and well. Is that, no? that, that's yeah, almost that like cleansing you're yeah. going to have. Now, I know that, that um, uh, Kay's a vegetarian, so we're going we're okay. to move this More over for you to too. It's yes. just for us. And, and ladies is it, first. Is it a yeah. complicated dish yeah. to recreate? No, it, really, it's not. It's a very classic dish. You know, the salmon with sort of grain mustard and dill. It looks um, beautiful. But we've uh, kind of, you know, given it a fresh kind of uh, feel to it with the. Uh, with the pickled cucumber. Well, while you're tasting that, I've got some other news. Mm. And there's a competition. Excellent. Oh. Well, we're also offering one lucky viewer and a guest a chance to win this incredible 15-day voyage in our competition. Yet yeah, this very one. To enter, you've got to be in it to win it. All you need to do is visit worldrecruising.tv forward slash Hertigruden, uh, where you'll also find the full terms and conditions and answer an easy question. What do we think? What do we think? <laughs> I want to see a thought. I'm what, really what? enjoying it. A bit too much, if anything. <laughs> it's got a lovely, fresh taste to it, and the salmon's perfectly cooked. Yeah, Oi. when it's mm. nicely glazed like that, it comes straight out of the pan onto mm. the plate. He looks happy. Uh, it's that, yes, that, that, um, that uh, finish there is just amazing. Yeah, that pickle yeah, is... Yeah, yeah. Because you've got adding texture as well with the cucumber mm. as well, as I mm. say. And again, not something you'd expect. Uh, well, now then, uh, thank you very much, everyone. But our presentation continues in a moment. We'll have another deal from Herder Gruden and more from our lovely guest, too. <laughs> top tip time from the sun, and here's the lady that's got all those top tips. It is, of course, Lisa Minow. Now then, planning, because there's been a lot of planning up to this point. Uh, should you pre book restaurants, etc.? for the cruise. Definitely, yes. I mean, I think you've got to make an idea of exactly what you want, you know, so look at it, look at the various different things. There's lots of um, information out there to research in advance. Choose those restaurants that you know you want to go to and try to get them booked either before you're actually on board or as soon as you get on board so that you can make sure that you've reserved your spot. If you like my other half, that's the plan. So it's everything yep. in order. What's the best way to plan a schedule? A cruise planner is your best friend. Oh, OK. On every cruise, you will be given either a paper paper planner or it'll be on an app but generally I like the paper version I'm sorry I'm just a bit Android me I still love the paper and that will have all of the information for the following day's cruise so you'll come into your cabin every night your cabin steward will pop it on your bed and then you can jump into bed and plan your next day's cruise that'll have the times the restaurants are open and closing it will tell you what activities are going right. on throughout the day and for me take on board a little highlighter pen because I think one of the best things I love doing is you get on board 
I've got my cruise planner and then I'm highlighting all the things that I want to do in that day. I feel I want to take you with me on my first <laughs> cruise. I just want you to be with me all the time. How much did you plan your excursions, though, in your free time? I think definitely do plan your excursions. Now, obviously, all cruise ships have fantastic port excursion itineraries um, and really look at those, but make sure you're getting the right type of excursion for you. Are you somebody who enjoys lots of you know, art and culture? Or are you somebody who just wants to get a sort of snapshot of a whole destination? Are you going to want to visit one particular place? Or are you going to be able to sit back and enjoy perhaps a lovely coach trip where they're going to take you past all of the main sites? For me, I love to immerse myself in just one small part of a destination. Just, you know, I might not have seen everything, but I do feel I've seen one bit really well. So there you go, there you have it. Thanks, Lisa, for those and more top tips soon. The fastest costume change in the world, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Lisa. How do you do that? It's just magic. Wow, amazing, amazing. Right. Hello and welcome to the world of cruising. We're celebrating the wonderful world of cruise and travel to help match you with your perfect holiday, along with some fantastic offers. We've been discussing Hertigrun, the well-known and much-loved Norwegian brand, but what's the onboard experience actually like? Well, the Svalbard line, inspired by Hertigrun's 130 years experience of sailing the Norwegian Coast. Also, premium dining experiences and activities included. MS Trollfold's flagship of the Spellwood Line, beautiful ship, Scandi chic decor, beautiful views in the panoramic sauna. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? Sails during the summer season, May to September, above the Arctic Circle. Uh, the sun never sets, midnight sun. You may just see those northern lights as well. Norway's coastal kitchen, they source homegrown produce from the ports they visit. Seasonal menus, fabulous food. A new range of over 30 summer excursions as well and also the coastal experience team guide guests in all voyage activities and excursions while sharing insights into the Norwegian culture. There is some lovely things to pick up from that uh, for that list uh, when you go on, on a cruise. Anything that stands out for you, Kay? I think the excursions caught my eye. Right. Um, and one of the things with Hertie Gruen is they spend about an average of six hours in port. Yeah. So you can really get right. under the skin of the destination. You know, it's not just a couple of hours off, then you're getting back on the ship. Uh, and their summer excursions, they're known for their hiking, which, I mean, Norwegians are fanatical about hiking, right? So yeah. lace up your hiking boots, hit the trails, cycling. Are you a cyclist? I am. There you go. Yes. Um, and also, they have some fantastic guided tours of the wildlife, the flora, fauna. So if you're into your nature and your wildlife and, you know, an outdoors person, absolutely perfect. And this is the company to go to, this Lisa, is, isn't it? Yeah. This is the, if you they want that the experience. Experts. They've been doing it for 130 years, but um, particularly on the ship, I love that panoramic sauna. Obviously, most Scandinavian countries are obsessed with sauna, obsessed with that whole idea of immersing yourself in that and gorgeous the, the heat. The from the cold That's to right, the heat and back again. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but what you have on board the ship is this fabulous panoramic sauna where you're sitting there lovely picture window and you can sit there and have your real sort of sauna steam while you're looking out over the fjords as they glide by so it's a fabulous oh. place to actually relax at the end of a long hard day out and about maybe even hiking do you know what, if you because you that's what you do when you finish hiking i've been on sort of holidays in the uk when we've hiked we come back and we've been lucky enough to things like hot tubs and sauna. Mm. it's a lovely way to end the day but then to have that vista that backdrop as well and that's when you relax isn't it? that's when the holiday really takes hold Reminds, reminds you where you are, what you're seeing, perfect. And, and memories for a lifetime, and that's what uh, cruises should be as well, shouldn't it? It should be memories that you'll always have. 
That's right. I mean, the reason why I think the Norwegian Fjord cruise lines, um, Norwegian Fjord itineraries are so popular is because they offer that bucket list opportunity. Sure. So going up into the Arctic Circle, seeing the glaciers, yeah. seeing those, you know, stunning mountain scenery, mm. um, it's something that really everybody wants to tick off their yeah. bucket list. It is, yeah, it's always on everyone's list, isn't it? Our yeah. readers, that's the one thing they pretty much sure. always want to go and see. Norway and as you heard, the, the coastal kitchen, literally, and as we seasonal ingredients being prepared, literally, as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time to look at the second half of the Svalbard Line itinerary. Here's how it shapes up. Now on day nine, remember, because we've already done the first day, day nine is uh, Nialsund. Uh, that's your day nine. At day ten you'll be at sea, hopefully being on that panoramic sauna, which would be lovely. Uh, now at uh, day eleven, Senja, and then day twelve, uh, Stoke Markness and Solvar are the places you'll be visiting. Day thirteen, Bronnesan. Uh, Fourteen, Alassan and John Ford and Saibo and at 15 Bergen now ports there any of the, any of that you you know of or something that just spark, jumps out of you there well, obviously, this does go over to the archipelago, the Svalbard archipelago, so it's very different. You're going to be visiting ports here that perhaps may only have a population of 10 or 15 people year round. Um, so these are tiny little places, um, and you're going to be going right to the very heart of them. And this is going to be wilderness like. Um, you know, the, the scenery will be wilderness, it's going to be wild and rugged. Um, at this time of year, the snow maybe hasn't started to fall in any way numbers, but you're still going to be able to see glaciers. Um, it really is one of those bucket lists yeah. tick everything off. The scenery and the silence as yes. well. It's yeah. just so beautiful. It peaceful. is a completely yeah. different holiday, isn't it? This is the point. That's the thing with the small boats and, the, and where you're going and the ports. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it really is uh, for discerning people who want to see the real country, I think. Yeah. You know? And 130 years, I mean, they've got it, they, they know what they're doing. Know what they're doing, absolutely. <laughs> when it's wet summer in that part of the world, what are we actually talking about? I mean, I don't really mean the midnight sun. Some people might, know, might not know what that means. Just quickly, let's talk about that. So, of course, it means the sun physically just doesn't set uh, for because of oh, how high that. up you are. <laughs> so you're in the, in the height of summer, you are still going to have light in the sky. You're going to have light skies all the way up to almost midnight, depending on how high up you are. Um, the further up north you go, the, the lighter it's going to be. Um, and then, obviously, as we're going into September, you perhaps are going to see the sun setting about 9, 9.30 at night. So there's still an opportunity possibly to see those northern lights. Um, but this is really about long, long summer days but it's summer in Norway, so let's... It's a short season. Yes, and short let's adjust window. Our, uh, it's still going to be fairly cold. You're still going to need a jumper. Yeah, take the yeah. right clothing, yes. I think, is the main thing. We, yes. Lisa, thank you. Yeah, we'll uh, say thank dress you, like an onion. Take your layers. <laughs> yeah, take mm. your layers. I dress like an onion. Uh, there, you're going to be heading off to the kitchen we, to see Mark, because yes. uh, we've got some wonderful food to prepare for you. Uh, the Svalbard Lying offers new ways to experience Norway where you can really take your time to discover new places on the Norwegian coast. Now, if you're time poor, then don't panic. Hertigruden also offer shorter 10 and 11 day options as well. Full details and others uh, with the terms and conditions that can be found at www.worldofcruising.tv forward slash Hertigruden. If this is the cruise for you, you can book by calling 0808 271 4286. 0808 271 4286 and speak to one of the knowledgeable team at Hertigruden. So for everything you need to know, plus the terms and conditions, as I said, please visit World of cruising.tv forward slash Hertigruden and if this Svalbard itinerary doesn't grab you you'll find plenty more cruises and offers on our website too. Now it's time to head back to Mark in the kitchen and see what Norwegian delights he has prepared for us this time. So I can hear sizzling so I'm thinking oh we've got my favourite in that pan mm. Mr Fosh. Welcome. Nice oh to see now then. Hi Mark what else? Um, can guests expect to find on the menu? I'm thinking fish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of fish, a lot of fresh mean, ingredients. Here we've got some wonderful fresh scallops. No? So they're, the best scallops are really from the North Sea. And um, the best way to cook them for me is really very, very simple in a nice hot frying pan like this. Get them caramelised on one side. I'm going These to add... They're very easy to overcook, aren't they? They are, that's yeah. exactly right. That's why it's better to basically pan fry them very quickly and then onto a pan. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a little garlic, a tiny bit of chilli, oh. a little bit of white wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds and looks amazing. And I'm going it? to finish with a little butter. So this is a really, really simple, easy way of doing scallops. I'm going to try and remember this. 
but difficult to try and remember this. Again, this is all about the product. And it's all about those wonderful scallops from the North Sea. Well, we've just been just discussing going for walks and trekking. When you come back, you're just ready for a meal, aren't you? You're ready Worked for up something. An appetite. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So and a few chives. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Lemon. Little lemon juice. Oh, the seasoning, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Looking good. And it's yeah, very hearty but healthy, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah, exactly that. I mean, I think when you've you've been in the fresh air and you've been doing things that you consider healthy, you want to come back to something that's nice and healthy and, yep. a, and a choice as well, Lisa. Obviously, these are, you know, fabulous fish dishes, but it's not just about that. You know, you see so much on the Hercules menu that is about all of those incredible foraging type things. So, yeah. you know, all of those herbs, the flora, fauna mm. and everything else, it's really highlighted. It's like you're experiencing local cuisine yep. all yeah. the time. Every they, time you stop, it's local cuisine. They really do make the most, don't they, of their yep. natural landscape. Yeah. And it's very historic, I feel. You know, when, you, when, when I look at the itineraries and we look at the places and look at the food, there's very much... It's steeped in history, isn't it? Very much steeped in history. Are we going to see any trolls coming up with us? <laughs> oh, <laughs> with well, our scallops? So we're talking, we? okay. actually just focusing in <laughs> yeah. on the scallops. That's, so, and, and again, and uh, this is something we, Lisa our, and I could yeah. try. Beautiful scallops. Mm. You're welcome. Look um, at that. Amazing. So we're uh, serving a little cocktail. Oh! oh it's got so we've actually got an aguavit sour. So an Arctic sour made, you know, like a traditional sour, but with aguavit. Okay. Uh, and strawberry as well. Very pretty looking. Yeah, Very strawberries, pretty. basil. Cheers, everybody. Aguavit. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 Have a little sip. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers. yeah. Cheers. Looks great. Mm. Right, Lisa, you tuck into that, and I'm going to tell the lovely people how they can get hold of this amazing deal. Included in the price, accommodation in a comfortable cabin with ensuite bathroom. You're going to get full board with all day dining in Flora and Aran restaurants, unlimited select beer, wine, and spirits at Flora Aran, and the 1893 bar served during restaurant and bar opening hours. Complimentary Wi Fi as well, so you can keep in touch with family and friends and show them all your pictures. To book, call. 0808 271 4286. I'll do that again. 0808 271 4286. And don't forget also, we're offering one lucky viewer a chance to win a 15 day voyage on the Svalbard line for two in our incredible competition. To enter, all you need to do is visit worldofcruising.tv forward slash Hertegruden and then you just need to follow the instructions. Right, I'm going to have another sip of this. How are how the scallops? Absolutely delicious. Cooked to perfection, oh, as always, so Mark. Oh, well. um, but what a wonderful flavour as well with the garlic and the and the wine as well. Excuse me. Does it, so it pairs nicely with the cocktail? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, you can't be a simple scallop. I mm. think just really pan fried. Such a. You're um, good, aren't you? Bad. <laughs> 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 He's a Michelin star. He's a good cook as well. <laughs> you know, but, it's like, but is it must be great. From your perspective, to sort of make other recipes from other places and this sure. sort of thing, it must be really nice to get your hands on those. Especially when you when you can work with wonderful ingredients, and mm. uh, that's really the key for me. It is, isn't it? And I think that's for any, any Michelin star chef. It really is all about sure. the um, the ingredients. One final sip of this, then, and a little sum up from you, Lisa. If someone's thinking of booking today and they're just not quite sure, what would you say to them? This is the authentic way, I think, to mm. go and look at the fjords. It's the company that knows it best. You're going to be completely immersed in it and have lots of experts on board to make the very most of it for you. And that's, uh, I think, that's a nice summary. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, that's it for Hurtigruden. My yes. thanks to Kay, yes. Lisa, yes. Mark and James, remember, from a little bit earlier on. We really appreciate you being with us. And if you'd like to order this or book this, you know what to do. Go to that website. And there's some lots of other options as well. You don't have to go with the one we're showing you today. Uh, please book the holiday for you. And I'm absolutely sure you're going to have an amazing time on the Norwegian coast. From us for now, cheers and cheers. enjoy your cheers. holiday. Cheers. Good health. Cheers. cheers. cheers.